You may have come to this video by looking at the video that's also on this website about growing your business by acquisition. So here is the follow-up video to that, which is, uh, should you consider growing your business by an acquisition rather than the, the much slower uh, and sometimes more traumatic, although this could be traumatic, uh, sometimes the organic growth is just too slow for some business owners. So this is a tool that I use with my clients and I'd recommend that you have a think about some of the things that we're gonna go through. So come on this journey. So let's say that your business is called ABC. And let's say that last year we had a cost of goods sold of $500,000. And that that $500,000 gave us a revenue for our motor mechanic business of a uh, million dollars in revenue. So whatever our costs are, which our labor and material costs goes into our cost of goods sold here, we're running at $500,000 cost of goods. So taken away from our million dollars gives us $500,000 of gross profit to run the rest of the company for the rest of the year. We've got our rent, insurance, accounting fees, secretary fees, and all of the other expenses that go in there is $350,000. And your owner's drawings, you can insert whatever your numbers are there, but in this example, I'll put them in as $100,000 nominal amount. That's gonna give us a total expense of $450,000. And down the bottom here, what we've got is a $50,000 net profit, or as accountants call it, they, and you might have seen this term before, EBIT, E-B-I-T-D-A, which stands for Earnings Before Interest in Taxes and Depreciation and Amortization. That's why we call it net profit. So what we've got, this is your business currently called ABC, and there might be another business out there exactly like yours. Now, in, uh, depending on which part of the country you're in, depending uh, what is happening in your particular market space, you sometimes can get one times your net profit plus plant and equipment at the written down value. So that would be your sale price for the business, or sometimes if you've got some contracts involved, you can get a premium of maybe one and a half to two times your net profit, plus plant equipment at written down value. It, this example here is just gonna assume that you can find someone else in your geographic location where you could merge the two businesses together and do an acquisition. And I'm assuming that you're gonna be paying one times net profit to buy the business. So let's have a look at what these numbers are. It is an amazing secret, what I'm about to show you is well, look, let's have a look and I'll show you what I mean. It is, it's a brilliant strategy. If you can manage the growth, and that's the big proviso of this. And please children, don't try this at home. Don't try without supervision. Make sure you've got your management team on board. Make sure you've got stable staff. Make sure you're able to run a much bigger business if you're gonna be doing this, because this can come back to bite you on the rear end if you're not careful. So get your accountants on board, get your business coach, on, hopefully me, get your business coach on board and consider this as an alternative. So we now found this business, we want to buy it. It has got the same cost of goods that we've got, $500,000. They do the same as us and they sell those goods and labor for a million. That leaves them with $500,000 to run the rest of their company. They've got $350,000 of expenses to run out of their business. Their owner also takes $100,000 in salary, giving them $450,000 of total expenses. And again, they've got $50,000 net profit. So far, they're exactly the same as yours. But what we're gonna look at here is how can we do a merger where we either move into their premises or they move into our premises. Our premises may be bigger, or their premises, they might have more hoists, or they might have more car bays, or they might have more wheel alignment equipment, or they might have tire change equipment, they might have more storage. Whatever the reasons are, we're gonna be moving one location into another, but capturing both client bases. Now, it could be that we may need to extend our trading hours to get the business to run, because we're now talking about expanding our business significantly. So where we're going to here is, let's say we can buy this business for $50,000 which is one year's net profit. Now we've got ABC and our, this new business that we've got. So we are ABC and their business is now gonna be called XYZ and they are running out of our new premises, uh, combined joint premises. So where we had $500,000 
of cost of goods before, we've now got one million of cost of goods. That's gonna be generating us two million dollars of revenue, assuming that our margins are going to be the same. That gives us one million dollars of gross profit. Now with our expenses, we're not paying two lots of rents, we're not paying two lots of accounting fees, we're not paying two lots of insurances, we're not paying two lots of everything. But there will be some increases. So what I'm gonna do is, in this example here, I'll add $100,000, very generous of me, $100,000 and make that $450,000. Now the question you'd ask is, how much are you gonna be paying the old business owner now that he's no longer there? Aha, trick question, thought it was. The $100,000 that you were paying him, you now don't pay him that because he's no longer working with you, you're still running the business. You still get your $100,000 out. So we've now got $450,000 and $100,000 of your wages costs or owner's salary. So that comes to $550,000. And through the power of video and magic, we have a million dollars of gross profit minus $550,000 of expenses. So for your $50,000 investment into that business through an acquisition, you've walked away with $450,000 thousand dollars in net profit or EBITDA within 12 months but obviously when you buy this other business you'll pick it up on a uh, like on Friday you'll do a settlement where you acquire the other business you'll move in over the Friday and get fully operational over the weekend and by Monday you're walking in there and your business has magically doubled you need to be wary that this is going to require twice as much money, uh, twice as much effort to manage, to organise and, and to sort things out. So this is not for the faint-hearted, but this doesn't mean to say that you have to buy a business that's doing double, you know, to doing the same level of turnover of yours. You could choose to bite off a smaller size piece in the first place. So this is a, a, a simple model about growing by acquisition. I hope it makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please send me, send me any questions that you might have. Uh, this is a tool that I use with my clients, and it's a tool that I'd recommend for you guys to sit down and just have a cup of coffee and say, hmm, should I be growing organically, or should I be growing uh, through an acquisition? I wish you all the success with this tool.